Hello boys and girls and Stingray parents. Today we are going to be taking a look at adding and subtracting fractions. It's very important before we add and subtract fractions that our denominators are the same. That's where our factoring skills that we've been using will come in quite handy. Let's begin. Okay, boys and girls, let's take a look at adding and subtracting fractions. When we add and subtract fractions, we need to know the different parts of the fraction. The numbers on top are the numerators, and the numbers on the bottom are the denominators. Um, and it's very important before we add or subtract um, fractions that the denominators are the same. If they're not the same, we need to make them the same. And we'll talk about how to convert um, these fractions into equivalencies with a different denominator in a moment. But first, um, we see here that our denominators are the same. Therefore, we can add straight through. Our denominator won't change throughout the problem. So our denominator is going to stay 5. And then we have, we have 3 fifths plus 2 fifths. So we just add the 3 and the 2 together. How many fifths do we have? We have 3 of them. And then we get 2 more. So all together, we have how many? We have 5 fifths. And if you know anything about 5 fifths, that is equal to 1 whole. Okay. And our fraction here, too, remember every fraction is a division problem. 5 fifths is really 5 divided by 5, which is equal to 1. Now let's take a look at subtraction. Subtraction we handle in the same way. We first check our denominators. They're both 9. And then our numerators are 7 and 4. Since our denominators are the same, we can just jump right into our problem. Our denominator will stay 9. Um, we have 7 ninths. And then how many? How many ninths do we take away? We take away four of them. So how many ninths are we left with? Seven minus four is three. So we're left with three ninths. But if you look at this, you say, hey, three and nine, they have a common factor. And the common factor is three. I can factor a three out of both the numerator and the denominator. I can simplify or reduce this fraction. So what we're going to factor out is a common factor of 3, both in the numerator and the denominator. So we're really just dividing it by 3 over 3, which is 1. And we know the rule of, um, of divisibility and multiplication identity for anything you divide or multiply by 1 stays the same. So we're not changing the value of this by dividing it by 1 or 3 over 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So the answer is one-third in reduced form. But our, we, we won't always get problems where the denominators are the same. So what do we do? Let's say, for example, we have 5 24ths plus 20 36. Okay. Well, we need to find a common denominator. A common denominator. Okay, which is also the least common multiple of these two denominators. So we need it to create a factor tree. I'm going to do it oh, over here. I should have room right here. So I'm going to take 24. And I know that 24 is 3 times 8, and I know that 8 is 2 times 4, and 4 is 2 times 2. 36, on the other hand, is 4 times 9, which 4 is 2 times 2, and 9 is 3 times 3. And we want to find our least common multiple or our common denominator. So our LCM, first of all, are there any common factors? Yes, there's a 2 there and there's a 2 there. So I'm going to put 2 as my first common factor. There's also another 2 there and another 2 there. And I also have a 3 that's in common with them. There's a 3 there and a 3 there. And I have some unique factors, um, 2 and 3. Okay, so 
I have another three, and I have a unique two. So let's let's start multiplying this through and see what our least common multiple is. I have two times two, which is four, times two, which is eight, and then I have three times three, which is nine. Nine times eight is 72. Okay, so what we're going to get here is we're going to end up with a common denominator of 72. The question is, though, how do we get to 72? Well, I know. What do I have to do to this denominator, 36, to get it to be 72? Well, I have to multiply it by 2. And if I multiply the denominator by 2, I also have to multiply the numerator by 2. And I can see very quickly that I'm going to run out of room. Okay, so that's going to give me um, a common denominator of 72. But over here, I have to also change 24 to 72. Well, how do I do that? I think I need to multiply it by 3. And if I multiply the denominator by 3, I also need to multiply the numerator by 3. Okay, so now we have to rewrite this expression. We're going to take the product of that and put it right here. We have a new equivalency. 3 times 5 is 15. And then 3 times 24 is 72. So 5 24ths, the equivalent fraction with the denominator 72 is 15 70 seconds. Okay. And then I need to take the product of this and put it over here. Two, well, 20 times 2 is 40, and 36 times 2 is 72. I can add. Now I can finally add. My denominators are the same. So I know my denominator will stay the same throughout the answer. And then this is, I have to add my numerators together. How many, seven sec how many 70 seconds do I have? Well, I first have 15 70 seconds, and then I add 40 more 70 second seconds. So here I go, and I've got 15 plus 40 is 55 70 seconds. And there you have it. That is our answer. We first had to come up with a common denominator, which was 72 from 24 and 36, which common denominator and, and least common multiples are the same thing. Okay, I think we had enough practice for today. We'll take a look at fractions again.